William Murphy here for Golf Hacker Magazine coming at you with my next product review. Now if you can cast your eyes back to my last review I did, that was on the Chipping Pro. Now, if you haven't seen that, I will post a link in the description below so you can check that. So today we're going to be talking grips, in particular the new Lampkin Z5s. Now let me just put a bit of context into this whole review really. Now. If you're like me, and I would suggest that many club golfers are, you don't change your grip anywhere near enough as you should. Okay, so I've taken this information from Lampkin's website directly, and if you don't believe me, again, the link is in the description below, so you can go check it for yourself. So, Lampkin recommend that you change your grips every 40 rounds. Now, if you're gonna be practicing considerably in between rounds, they recommend you change them every 30 rounds. Now, that doesn't seem that much at all. But what are the purposes and what are the reasons behind changing your grip so much? Today we're going to look into that. Now as per my previous videos, I'm not professional. These are just my, my personal opinions of how the clubs work and, and what my, my thoughts and feelings are. So I have a selection of golf grips to my left, which I think that the majority of club golfers will fit into at least one of these categories. Now, we'll start with the worst and we'll progress through until we get to the new Lampkin grips. Now these are your old school grips. The club themselves are probably about 25 to 30 years old. These grips, I believe, would have been on the club originally when they were released from the factory, and they're still on there. I mean, they're solid, they're very smooth, there's absolutely no grip. Because there's no grip, I've got absolutely no control over that club. Uh, so when I get to the top of my swing, I could feel it shifting. And when you're used to these clubs, you probably won't do that very often because you're used to it. But there is always that possibility that that could happen. Now these are my original clubs I started out playing golf with. Um, the grips again are the original from the factory. And as you can see, hopefully, you can see this flat spot here, and you can see that the thumb section here is completely smooth. Now I quite like these grips because they're visually nice, however, the grip is ripped, the grip is worn, and in the rain, I'm going to struggle a lot with these grips. Um, you probably hear a lot of people saying, I don't play as well in the rain, and this is the reason why, because their grips aren't suitable. These uh, ladies clubs, they are the Lampkin cross lines, and these grips are brand new, however, what you have to take into consideration with grips is each grip will be different for each individual. Now these grips being ladies, ladies and junior grips are a lot thinner. Um, so I've got another Lampkin cross line here. I don't know how well you're going to be able to pick this up on the camera. They are the same length from bottom to top of the grip. But the black Lampkin cross line is made of a much thicker material because it's a men's grip. Now. I'm only bringing this up because the second hand market is huge, you can get some really good um, clubs, but what you might find is the club that is perfect for you may not have the grip that's suitable for yourself. So you can be penalised from having the wrong grip. So, on to the Lampkin Z5. The most technically advanced and responsive part of your game finally has a grip to match. Introducing the Lampkin Z5. It's five scientifically engineered zones and system of textures and patterns work with each point of contact to bring ultimate comfort, control, and consistency to every shot. Victory is in your hands. I've got a nine iron. Let's hit a few shots and see what happens. So I can line my thumb up nicely, line my bottom hand up. Now I've got two lines of tape underneath this as well to help bulk it out because of my big hands. Let's see what happens then, shall we? So when these arrived on the doorstep, I was a little bit shocked um, just because of the pure boldness and brightness of them. But actually when looking into it a little bit further, I actually quite like them. Um, the colour isn't too in your face, and because I've got big hands, by the time I've gripped it, the only thing I really see is, is, is that, to be honest. So, a tiny bit of blue, and they're predominantly white. I like the consistency they provide, I like the, the visual aid as well, obviously making your thumb in the right place, and getting your hands in the right place as well. 
So what Lamb can have prided themselves on here is the fact that you have the consistency between all clubs. The top section has got a slight coordinate, so you have the, the grip in all weathers on your top hand. And your bottom hand has the softer feel as well. So what they say on the website is because of the science that goes into these grips, you can allow yourself for more speed and more power. So obviously, true test. I've got my driver. Let's see how uh, online I can keep it. So I take my set up quite clearly using the thumb section, put my bottom hand on, and here we go. Okay, so it's just a little bit to the right. The grip itself hasn't moved at all. Now I'll take you down so you can have a face on view and see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so hopefully you can see then, obviously I've got the visualization, I've got the repetitive feel every time. I've got the V for alignment. Obviously the new Lampkin grip's really smart as well. Nice block capitals. Um, they're nice and soft, they're nice and grippy. So they're broken down into five sections, which I'm gonna explain. So zones one and two have an intricate horizontal pattern, which includes a soft cord weave, which delivers exceptional traction, enhanced comfort, and slip-free grip confidence in all weathers. Zone 3 is the critical middle zone of the Z5, includes a two finger lock panel designed to secure the golfer's thumb in a consistent grip position with every swing. The panel simulated rope texture offers a unique tactical response to reinforce club control without excessive grip pressure. And finally, zones 4 and 5 have a shallow micro texture which provides a smoother and more comfortable feel in the non glove hand while the V-shaped dividing group promotes a consistent and proper grip position of a golfer's lower hand. These Z5 grips then have been developed for your all-round game. Accuracy, power, speed. They've, they've put all the science into making these grips with having a better um, connection between you and that club. Okay, so like all my reviews I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do pros and cons because I think that you as a viewer need to be told the full story of the product. Now with these, to be honest, they're brand new grips and there aren't really very many cons to, to be had with them. Um, grips themselves are a very personal thing. One person's favorite style of grip isn't gonna be suitable for somebody else. So what you have to take into account is that I'm giving this based on my personal opinion and you may try the grip out and it might not be suitable for you, but your friends might try it and it might be spot on for them. Now, color wise, bit of a shock, but as I say, I'm getting over that point. The bad side I find towards this, and maybe one that I'm gonna have to obviously go on ongoing, is the white section on here. Now, like all things that are in golf that are white colored, golf shoes, your golf glove, they're all gonna become discolored and before you know it, look gray and tired and worn. Now, I've had these grips on now for two months. I have used them, I've abused them, I've, um, you know, I've taken all different styles of shots, I've played in all different styles of weather, just to give them the full product review that I feel that they should have. The grip themselves has stayed really good, really good quality, and to be fair, the colour has stayed true as well. When they've got dirty, a bit of soapy water, give them a clean. I mean, there's products out there as well, like um, your Grip Pro um, that you can use just to get off any dirt, and they do come up shiny again. How long they'll stay white for is obviously one to take on ongoing, but for now, and you know what? I haven't had a problem with the color at all. They haven't faded, they haven't become discolored, and when they have, simple white clean, and they, they're fine. Now, the other concern I had was surrounding this middle section, so zone three. Now. This bit here has a slightly different texture to it. That's raised um, from the rest of the grip. It has a slight rope section. Now that, when I first started using these, became very uncomfortable. Um, I got soreness on my thumb. Uh, I don't know if you can see here uh, how clear that comes out. And as you can see there, there's a wear mark on my glove where I've obviously tried to continue to use them. Now, the soreness only really lasted one or two practice sessions midweek maybe two to three hours max and it's absolutely fine but again this is no difference to bedding in a new pair of golf shoes at first they might become uncomfortable but once you get used to them absolutely fine so if you're going to try one of these grips i wouldn't write them off immediately stick with them and keep going because although 
the middle section is a bit sort of rougher than the rest of it. Once your hands adjust to them, these are really comfortable grips and they are so grippy and you know, that's the main things really, comfort and grip, which obviously Lampkin Z5s tick both of those boxes for me. Now, although the cons aren't bad, it is something I think you should consider when you're looking at purchasing new grips. Um, the color, comfort, happy days. Now they are the only two things that I could really pinpoint what I didn't like about them. I have spoke to other golfers, um, what they have said is rather than having this messiness, they would like to turn this grip around and have the full section, so you take away all the lines. Um, what they have maybe commented and said they would like is having this section here flipped around so you still have the V, um, but again, you can't really have everything. Um, so. For me, I don't find it affects my game or my swing or my mental state at all, the way that the, the grip is faced. So with all grips on the market at the moment, the question you're faced with is how do they perform in the rain? Now I've played some, um, some good rounds and I've played some bad rounds. I found the wettest and the windiest day I could possibly find um, so far this year and I hit the golf course. Everyone said I was crazy, but in order to give you, the viewer, the best possible review, I thought I'd take one for the team. Now, I did make a quick video about that, which again, I'll post the link below, um, so you can see just how bad it was. But again, now the grip stood up to the elements. We haven't quite had a hot day yet, so I haven't quite seen what the other side of the story is with regards to how the heat affects these grips. But if they're anything like the Golf Pride Multi Compounds, Having the quarter section on top is a real benefit to having that extra grip in the hot and the wet. So, you've got the quarter section on the top, that's going to secure your grip. You've got the softer section at the bottom, and I did my hands didn't slip at all in that rain. So the verdict then, what do I think about them? To be honest, I really like these grips. The colour put me off at first, but I quickly adapted to them. The grippiness of them is perfect. The the, the, the visual aids are having your thumb and your lower hand sections in there so you get your repeated and consistent grip position is, is for me spot on. It takes another thing out of the equation when you stir up over the ball. Now all I've got to say is, when I stand over the ball, I address the back of the ball, put my thumb on the place, put my hand, bottom hand on, take my swing, and you're laughing. One thing I have to say is with these grips, I have shot my lowest round twice this year. Now that was a 72. Now 72 is fantastic for me. I am a five handicapper. That was level gross. I've got to put it down to the grip because on that occasion, that day, my grip didn't budge. My hands didn't sort of slip on the grips. The shot was consistent because I made sure that my thumb and my, hand, my lower hand was in the right place. Everything fell into place that day. As I said before, these grips aren't for everybody. Now, what is one person's perfect situation isn't gonna be another person's. So you have to take that into consideration. Most pros do offer a fitting services for grips now. Now, if you're considering changing your grips, I would definitely, definitely recommend contacting your local pro, going down, checking the grips. But don't rule these out. Z5 Lampkins. So that's it for me today. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick overview of everything to do with the golf um, grip. Um, hopefully I've covered off all the boxes. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'm not being endorsed for any of these products. These are all my own personal opinions. Um, it'd be great to hear your comments on, these, on the stuff I'm reviewing. Um, other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you again next time. See you later.